Now, a little under a year ago, I built a hotel on Vanilla Rust. It was a simple hotel providing solo players with the basic necessities that they require to get started on this brutal game that we all love. But there was one problem with this hotel. See, hotels in Rust are not generally somewhere you would stay the whole wipe. Clans absolutely hate role players. As soon as they can sniff out any fun on the server, they'll be heading straight over there with 50 rockets. So long story short, hotels are not the most secure place to live. They can be a great temporary refuge, but in general, they always end in carnage. So this got me thinking, what if I was to try and build a hotel that was just as strong and beefy as a clan base? It will come equipped with all of the secret gadgets and gizmos that you find in all the big base designs these days, such as external multi-tool cupboards to stop griefing, secret roof storage bunkers to store away loot whilst offline, internal peak downs to oversee and defend the hotel lobby whilst being at the top of the base, wall stacking, advanced electricity, and the list goes on. The only difference between this base and the clan base is, well, at the core of this base, there'll be a hotel. This is the story of how we built one of the most secure hotels in all of Rust on one of the biggest and most brutal vanilla Rust servers. This is 10 days of Rust content condensed down into one video. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. All right, boys, we've got seven days until it's Halloween, and we've got 12 days until this server wipes. The main thing really is getting it built before Halloween because I want it to be ready on Halloween. So yeah, seven days to research all the items, farm up all the resources and get this hotel built. Now it goes without saying, but the main thing we're going to need to build this hotel is a lot of resources. So we're going to have to find a good place on the map to build our temporary base. Somewhere that's filled with resources and that doesn't have a whole lot of competition. We're never going to find a place on the map that's completely deserted on a server like this, but there is always that one spot that that's relatively peaceful. We've just got to find where that is. <laughs> okay, I'm going to swim to this island first. Got some big boys living on this island, lads. Probably not the best idea for us to live on an island anyway, just because of the lack of resources. Sometimes you do find islands that have a lot of resources on, though, if it's big enough. Oh, Jesus. Look at these guys. They've put a, a, they've put a wall around this entire island, and they've built a bridge going all the way over there. Now, this is what I call an island takeover. <laughs> GG, whoever's built this. Now, after scouring around the Freshborn area looking for a place to live, I quickly realized that I wasn't going to find any peace and quiet on this side of the map. So I collected some oil barrels, gathered some low grade, and headed out on a voyage across to the other side of the map, looking for any potential spots for us to build. That looks pretty chill over there, to be fair. Nice little desert right next to a stone quarry. Could be a good shout. Oh, wait a sec. Forget about what I just said. Talk about freaking hell. Render it. Come on, game. You can render it better than that. Right, okay. Yeah, uh, yeah. Scrap what I just said. We ain't living over there. Okay, I've literally traveled over to the other side of the map now. There's not many monuments around here. This is probably the best we're going to get. A nice river. I mean, it's still low. I mean, look, there's a massive clan over there. But hey, and there's a massive clan over there. But this little spot here can be mine. Okay. I'm crafting everything we need. And I'm hiding in this bush. We're living on a river. Okay, we've officially got a base. We're located right here in the top left corner of the map. This is where we're going to spend the next few days. All we gotta do is to research all the items we're gonna need for the hotel and farm up all the resources. Oh, Halloween's here. Give me low grade. Oh. Once we get the basket, we'll be able to pick up these much quicker. Oh my god, fireworks. It's a bunny. Hey! It's nice to be reminded of civilization out there somewhere whilst we're here in the corner of the map. Okay, furnace is going down. Get some wood in there, get all of our metal in there as well. Very nice, turn that on. All right, now after doing a little bit of base upgrading, day number one was pretty much wrapped up for me. It was a short rust session, but it was getting late and I wanted to be up early the following day because a friend of mine and fellow streamer is going to be the first guest to join us on this adventure to building a hotel. We're going to be joined by my friend and fellow streamer, LTK. 
She's an Aussie, which means I have to be on super early. So overall, a good start to the day. We found a place to live that's reasonably peaceful, at least for now anyway. Bring on day number two. All right, I'm awake. I've woken up super early, and guess what? LTK is late. She is nowhere to be seen. It's freaking too early for this. She's not the one that's woken up at 6 in the morning. I understand most people that's normal, but not for gamers. Okay, moment of truth anyway. Have we been raided? We survived! We've got a big day ahead of us, boys. Lots to do. Now, so far, this area has been very peaceful, which is something that we've wanted. But... We are about to make acquaintances with some of the people that live in this area. It's about time we got to know who exactly lives around here. We're mostly going to be farming scrap today, obviously. That's um, Oh, and this is my neighbor's base, by the way. That is clearly decaying, but he does have an oil refinery, so I'm going to use it. We've got quite a bit of crude oil that we collected from the seas on the way over here. Put that in there. Boom. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh my god, I just destroyed this guy! Oh no, I didn't. Say hello to Dart and his friend Lowell. These guys are a duo and they live reasonably close, but not too close to my base. It's just a duo, two friends. We know where these guys live. They're added to the radar. Now, because LTK is late, I'm not going to give her the honor of living in my base with me. No, no, no. She's going to be living in a shack. Um, we're going to craft the two boxes. It's almost as if I'm building a hotel room. This is preparation. <laughs> There we go. L's shack is complete. L, your base awaits you. They've got an airlock. You see that? They've got a, an airlock right there. Two furnaces. Uh, two boxes. <laughs> There's tools inside the box. Ah, here you are. <laughs> what time do you call this? I said 10 minutes because I was eating, but then I quickly did a dungeon. <laughs> Jordan, get up at six. Get on at six in the morning. I'll be there. <laughs> yeah. Right, well, you know. There's going to be consequences to this uh, lateness. Oh, shit. Anyway, yeah. get on. We've got a lot to do. We've got a hotel to build here. Jordan Slave. <laughs> what is this? Yeah, this is... So this is the... Um, this is your base. This, this is my base. Yeah. This is... Well, it's my base, but you're obviously going to be living here. Where's your base? Right next door. Yep. So uh, Next this, door? Yep. So there's tools in the box. Get to work. <laughs> So I'm living in this, you know what? I'm gonna build mine up grand and you'll be you'll be wishing you lived in my base. Now there's not many monuments in this area that I've built in, but there does happen to be an entrance to the underground tunnels, which as a lot of you know, are a great place for farming components and scrap. In fact, it's one of the best places you can go for components especially. So we didn't mess around. We got straight to work grinding the underground tunnels. And pretty quickly, I was able to progress my way through the scrap system. Things were running smoothly. We were getting stuff done. Oh, and we even went and said hello to our closest neighbors. Oh, player, 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 coming out of this base. He's wearing a blue hazzy. We can maybe steal it from him. He's running right towards me. Hit him once. Again, one hit. Killed him. You killed him? Yeah. I'm grabbing his gun. Ah, his mate killed me. No way, you almost got it. Oh, these are the same guys from before. I, I managed to kill one of them before and then his mate came and killed. It's literally the same thing that just happened. We need guns out. How far off are you for revolver? Revolver would cost us 565 scrap. Oh my God. It's not too bad, but I, because I didn't, I didn't. When you going down the tech tree, or you going yeah, somewhere I, else? I was, go I did all the electrical stuff, and then I wasn't mm -hmm. going down to revolver. But I was, because my thought process was that we we'll, might as well just get tier two and go down to the SAR straight up. You know? Nah, no, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, yeah. Now I can't explain this next clip to you guys. I really can't. <laughs> I have no idea how this happened, but there was two dead players with full sets of gear and guns right on the river that I live on. 
I randomly stumbled on this. I don't know how they died. Maybe they both died to a bear or something. I have no idea. Elle and I were literally about to go out on another scrap grinding mission so that I could get the tier two workbench down and research the Thompson and the semi-automatic rifle when all of a sudden the Rust gods just placed this right in front of me. Now, of course... I uh, didn't exactly tell L the truth about how I managed to acquire these guns and these gear sets, but uh, yeah. Oh, oh! I got to come to me. I've got a Tommy. Okay. okay. And, a, and a full, a full set of gear. Coming. Where'd you find that? I'll explain after. Tommy in a full setting gear. Would you find it on the ground? Come here, come here, come here, come here. Okay, take this, take this. Now go to your base. Oh, you got a saw? Yeah, I just killed two players with a bow. Fuck off, you did. I did. I just killed them both with a I, like I had a I had a bow and I had upper ground. I killed them. I had I triple headshot the first guy and triple headshot the second guy, and then I got. Go in. <laughs> no, you didn't. I you did. Just bought something. I'm, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm. Go in. Proof. Yeah, yeah. What? All right, tell me. What did you do? I literally me just you told you. The I... Huh? Yeah. No, these the are neighbors? not. These are not the neighbors. They got different names. But they were just. They were running in the river, and then I was. I had. I was on that upper rock, and I just fired it. Got really lucky, and like triple head shot. Yeah. Like I can show you the recording. I don't think. Oh. Yeah. So we, you sound really. You found a decayed base. I didn't. I swear 100%. to God, I, I've only got this stuff here. Mm hmm. So it's like. Show me. Show me the footage. <laughs> I'm, we're not going to go. Like, if you don't trust me as a friend, then I don't know where. <laughs> I, I don't know where our friendship is, to be honest. All right, show me the bodies then. I will show you the bodies. Right. I've got no problem showing you the bodies. All right, let's go right uh, now. Okay, follow me. Go up there to the river and, you, and you'll see the body bags. All right. Triple hedge. Yeah. yeah. Both of them. On, on both of them, yeah. Oh, Jordan's cracked. But also, you lie a lot, so I don't know if I trust until I see the bodies. Yeah, you'll see the bodies. Go and check it out. All right, there's one. Yeah. Okay. Grab, grab the scraps, mate. Do what you want. Where's the other body? Both in the river. You both, full loot both in the river. Unless I full looted it. You full looted it. Okay, well, I somewhat believe you now. Yeah. Now then, Elle and I have finally got our hands on some guns. So with that being said, we're going to head out on a bit of a roam to the middle of the map and go and do some monument keycard puzzles. But before we do that, there's a few things that we've collected along the way today, all related to the Halloween update. The first thing is coffins. These are large storage boxes, but you can actually place them vertically or you can attach them onto walls. In other words... You can fit about 12 of these in a one by one. The next cool little item that you could get in this Halloween update is your own personal pet. Yes, it's a Frankenstein pet. It follows you around, defends you, and you can set it to attack as well. In order to get one of these Frankenstein pets, you need to find the head, the torso, and the legs. Once you've got all three, you can put it together on a Frankenstein machine, and voila, you have a monster. All right, let me in, Waddy. Mm -hmm. We've got the head on. There's the head. <laughs> and, then, and then the body. Oh, sh oh, oh, sh oh. oh and the legs. Holy sh oh, this is so exciting. Are you ready? Oh, my God. Oh. So let me just test this out. So if I go like that. No, no. Oh, my God. Stop it. All right. Let's go do some key card runs. Oh, uh, two dudes ahead. Okay, what do they have? Did you manage to see what they one's have? Got a, one's got well, a torch. One's got a flash, like a torch. I, I swear I saw a second one. Wait, don't crash, crash, crash. This is like right above. I heard him stop running. Oh no, there's his light. Okay, he's got a hazzy. Right, I'm not up there, so do not shoot, because I... I'm like slowly coming up. Shot by the. Oh yeah. Wait for him to come down. I think he's in there looting right now. We can surprise him when he comes down. What in the building? Oh, there, there he is. Yeah, I see. Has he gone up? There's multiple. Oh my god. 
Try and get it. Get your, your DB right out. Right here. Killed one. Nice. That's nice. There's another one. Coming towards me. I saw his head. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Nice. I just grabbed the, the compound off of him. Where's the other one? Whew. There may have only been two, right? Oh, there could have only just been two. I can't find his gun, though. I'm going to have to turn my light on to find his gun. Yeah, just turn it on. It's coming daytime anyway, so we probably should, like, get a move on. We've already made, like, gun noises and shit. Yeah, yeah, I've got his gun. Let's just get out of here. Are we not going to do the loot room? Uh, no, nah, because we made... Well, let's just leave with the stuff we got. I think we, the extra guns and plus this guy had some components anyway. We'll come back here after we've depoted. All right, All right here, sweet. Take the gears. Come, come in, oh. come in. Uh, take that. Then go back to the other base. Right. Yeah, just expand it a little bit because it's a little bit, a little bit f***ed right now. Yeah, let me know if you need anything. All right, I should be able to get to garage door now. All right, so there you have it. That's going to wrap up day number two. Big thanks to L for joining me on this adventure and helping me get all my scrap grinded. We've managed to research all the items we're going to need for this hotel in just a day. Now, unfortunately, L will not be joining me for the rest of my adventure because she's got plans for the rest of the week. But if you guys want to check her out, she live streams on Twitch. All links are in the description. And she's really awesome. Anyway, I finalized the day with some base upgrading just to make sure we don't get raided overnight. I'm pretty confident at this point that our base is more than secure enough to survive the night, especially now that we've got garage doors down. And now that we've completed the scrap grinding objective, the next task at hand is to farm all of the resources we're going to need for this hotel. So bring on day number three. It's time to get farming. Now with LTK gone, another one of my friends messaged me and said that he was happy to help me build the hotel. In fact, his name is Omni. Some of you might recognize him because he helped me build my last hotel. Now he'd already joined the server and built his own base and did some farming while I was asleep. This is uh, my base. Oh, looking good, man. Oh, what? What's this? <laughs> no, it's just... Living comfortably, what do you mean? Okay, well, why have you got a table in your base? Why not? Yeah, okay, fair enough. You know, I'm all about it. I roleplay as a Chad. Oh, I see, I see. Oh, dude, you farmed a little bit, eh? Bro, by the way, these coffins are so OP. I, I wish they'd keep them in the game. Now, things are about to get moving a lot quicker than I expected. In fact, with the resources that I've farmed and the resources that L and Omni have farmed put together, we've pretty much got enough to start the hotel. And so, that's exactly what we're going to do. Omni and I have grabbed a boat, and we're going to go and scout the lay of the land and look for the perfect place to build our hotel. Ideally, we want to be built somewhere that's populated, where we're going to get lots of players coming through and potential hotel guests. Now, this spot in particular caught my eye right next to the ranch and also right next to a train track. We'll have a designated train stop for the hotel. We'll be built right next to a safe zone in the ranch. This area definitely has some potential. Let's go check it out. Let's go in the ranch for the night, bro. Let's go in the ranch for the night. Chill there. So then we can see what we're doing. But I'm, I, I like this spot. It's a fresh spawn area. This looks great. It's pretty flat. Yeah, by the railway tracks maybe even. Oh yeah, right by the railway. Hotel slash train station. Next stop, the Halloween Hotel. Right by the train tracks, man. That would be sick. People will stop and they'll see the hotel. Now, I was pretty sold on this idea of living next to a train track. The idea of people being able to use the train system to get to the hotel from anywhere on the map really appealed to me. So, on that note, so begins the start of our hotel. Cue the base upgrading montage. Let's get this thing started. Bang that down.
Now after building the blueprint of the hotel, we decided to start transporting loot from our main bases all the way on the other side of the map over to this hotel. Now of course, we have the convenience of trains to help us transport this loot, so we started transporting loot to and from the hotel using the train system. Oh, this is awesome, this one. Oh, play it up, play it up. All right, um, I filled up my inventory. I'm going to take some of the electrical stuff with me. Large batteries, solar panels, and uh, I've got some stone as well. Okay, this is the first trip of many. Wait, hang on. Has somebody stole our train? Oh, they're over here. Which way are they going? Head away from us. All right, there's another train here. Let's steal it. Maybe we can chase after this guy. Do you have fuel? Yeah, yeah, I've got fuel. I'm coming back. Oh, they no. stopped. Oh, they're going again. They're doing. They are. It's going backwards, it seems. Yeah, it is. <laughs> You're at it. You can jump on. You can jump on. If it lets me. <laughs> Go on, bro. Yes. Yes, Omni. It's a fight. Die, yeah. It's a train oh. fight. I'm gonna. St I'm gonna stop him. I'm gonna. I'm gonna make him go into me. You do that. I can see where he is. We'll connect trains and I'll jump on as well. I've got control of the train now. <laughs> Let's I'm go forward. It, where is he? I'm gonna find him. We're gonna find you, boy. This is no joke. You're messing with the wrong crew, laddie. You found him, bro. I did. I'm chasing him on the train. Hey, bro, that was a good fight. Hello, my friend. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna help you all. I just wanted to try out this thing. I just wanted to see what's happening in Trinio. All right, all good, man. All good. We're, we're getting off in a sec anyway. Hey, what? You guys? Are you? Oh, what? You're not? You're not going Trinio? No, we're not. You can use it, mate. Oh, you're good. yeah. Thank you, bro. Appreciate that. <laughs> I'm off. Now, after doing a couple of train runs and transporting some of the loot from our main bases over to the hotel, it was time for Omni to log out. Omni is also from Australia, and it was getting very late for him. He's not leaving us completely. He'll be returning and helping us further build the hotel in due time. Now then, in the meantime, another friend of mine is about to hop on. His name is CND Blood. He is Canadian. And speaking of NA time zones, this is a North American server that I'm playing on. And, uh, well, we are entering prime time very shortly. A lot of the neighbors around this area and a lot of the people on this server are going to start logging in and things are going to get much more hectic. We're not living in the middle of nowhere anymore. And on a server like this one, there's bound to be some problems. Bro, this is insane. I have, I have one, two, three, four, five, six boxes, coffin boxes, and I can fit seven. I can fit seven in here. If I really wanted to, I could fit eight. That's crazy. Indeed. That is really weird. Jeez. Yeah, I kind of wish they'd keep these coffins in the game. I know it's OP, but I don't know. It's cool. Okay, I'll farm loads of wood. If you can try and get metal ore, I think that's probably what we need the most right now. Might need help. I'm coming, I'm coming. Are you Tommy or is that... Tommy? Oh, no, he's dead. Uh, yeah, no, that's me with the Tommy. He had a pump, I think. Oh, he only had a water pipe. Meet Rex. Oh. Are you dead? No, I killed him. He had P2. I put it in the box. Was he just camping you? Yeah, he was just holding there with the P2. I I'm waiting though, because I think he has a. His friend's gonna show up any second. I see him, he's inside the train. He's one shot. Still in there. Oh, another? Or is that you? No, he's dead. He's dead. He's good. Mate's running back from behind the train. Running up towards you from the other side. He's in all the bushes now. Is that he had gun? Oh, no, another? Double one. I'm dead. Him. I'm down right now if you want to pick me up first. Where's the other guy you killed though? I'm, I'm behind you if you want to pick me up in case you get jumped. Okay. Because there's another guy coming to you, so pick me up fast. He's coming from 3 330. Is that your SAR? 
Yeah, yeah, it is, it is. I need it. Okay, I'm going to heal real quick. Okay. He almost tapped you me. Get him? Yeah, but he'll finish him off. Kill the other guy behind him. Alright, I got the other guy. Okay, let's loot all the guns and stuff. Good job, bro. Mm-hmm. Now, C&D Blood and I don't quite know this yet, but we are living next to some of the worst type of Rust players, the Grubs. These are the type of Rust players that have AKs in their bases, but refuse to use them. The only guns you'll see these guys with are double barrels, water pipes, and pumps, or maybe the odd P2 or Custom. Either way, we got a bit of a nuisance on our hands here. I see them both running over again. One dead. Bringing out ammo for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Might be. It fell through the train along with his body. Take this, bro. Take this. Yeah, yeah. We need to find out where they live so they're yeah, running yeah. from this direction. You want to come with me right now? Can we get them on there? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I got it. It was a crossbow. Okay, his body probably has something too. Now, C and D Blood and I suspect that these guys live in this small little 2x2 two two because it's quite a new base. We farmed around the area a little bit and we've noticed that this base in particular has been upgraded a little bit in the past hour. So we're suspecting that potentially they live here. But of course, we don't know for certain. We're going to need more intel. Now, whilst we were scouting around the area trying to find these guys, they were looking for us as well. There's one thing about grubs. They have unlimited patience. Is he throwing stuff? Yep. He's outside. I know, let me hear for a sec. He's hit three times. He's one shot. I hit you, sorry. Nice. Nice, dude. Yep, this is the guy called Rex. Okay, got the custom. Right, let me heal up and then go and grab my stuff. Wait, look at my body. My body is west, so just keep an eye on there a sec. Nice, well played, man. Good job. Save the day. We got an extra. We got an extra custom. Nice. What is he throwing? Just grenades? Yeah. Oh, it might. Have, it, yeah, it seemed like a grenade. Yeah. Oh, I'm going towards that satchel. Yeah, same. I'll follow you. Yeah. I don't have a good position on it, so. That's like slow ammo in it. Oh, I see one sneaking up with uh, has my suit. Is are you saying that's a counter sneaking? Yeah, yeah, 100%. I don't have a flashlight, so I'm kind of useless. Oh, I'm gonna be sneaking as well. Yeah, the counter's shooting. Yeah, he's running towards me now, the counter. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna have to kill the counter, aren't I? Yeah, yeah, you go for it. He's far, he's far away from you, actually. Like, up the hill a little bit. I just saw the counter run back. Going to counter. Yeah. A lot of them are naked. I don't exactly know what's going on. He's here. The counter. Maybe dead people running back. Do it. Dead. Okay. I'm watching the base right now. Okay. I don't know which way they'll come out of. I Dad see one on the bottom. One dead. He's naked though. He's naked. There's still two more. There's a lot of them are dead though. I'm gonna be honest. Oh, really? I'm seeing, okay. I'm seeing a python here that I've just got. Okay, I got ladders, so I'm gonna... Do it. I got another sar. Two sars. Two sars and two pythons. Nice. Does one of them have a flashlight? Yep. Okay, can you toss me that right now? I'm tossing you a flashlight. Uh, go. There. Boom. Got it. Let's get out of here. We've got extra yeah, guns. Just... Just taking one more look because there were two full bodies, like two full kits. So Sounds I don't good. know if you got both of them that he had. Okay, let's just dip. Oh, it's a load of loot in here. Oh, oh yeah? Oh, the component was box. He's grabbing the components and we're dipping. Oh, in here, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm even going to throw away the pythons. I'm grabbing. All the guns as well at the top. I'm coming. I couldn't tell you where from. He yeah, he's on me now. I'm just gonna run as well. Okay. Bro! What? <laughs> yeah, TC is broken. I got a hammer. Okay, I should be able to pick it up. Mate, you're a beast. Good good job, man. 
Now, C and D Blood and I are starting to gain some momentum here. We just successfully countered a raid and got loads of loot, including a tier 3 workbench, which is very useful to say the least. This area is quite the difference between the peaceful area that we were living in earlier. That's for sure. Coast looks pretty clear. All right, I'm about to be there. Nice. I'm going to go grab my uh, loot. Mm -hmm. Nice. Get that tier three stored away, man. Good job, dude. Yep, 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 yep. Good shout for going over there. Whew. Legend. Yeah, worked out. And we've got a lot to recycle, bro. And this will give us a lot of scrap. Well played. Well played. Right. Can you just cover me? Because I go in because I won't have full health this time. Yeah. So you running up? Yeah. Okay. Seems fine. Get me in. Oh, yes, mate. <laughs> Oh my day. All right, good job. Good job. Yep. Good stuff. We gotta go back though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go back. Sure. They're in the court. There's also three furnaces up there. If you're up top, there's three. Yeah. There's a box in here. Hold on. Look. Nice. Oh, you had a jackhammer and four meds. It was worth it returning back to this base because there was loads of furnaces for the taking, which is of course something that's going to be very useful for building the hotel. We're going to need a lot of furnaces for people's rooms. So everything is slowly but surely taking place. We've started to accumulate a decent amount of loot and we're almost getting to the point where we can finish the hotel and open up for business. But see, there's one small problem that we've forgotten about. Player outside. Naked or what? No, Gid. You still there? Not sure. I'm crouching on my roof. Oh, he's here. Dead. Oh, you oh absolute my God. beast. What's his name? Rex. Yes. It's this guy, Mr. Rex. See, he was door camping us and we killed him for the 50th time. We thought that eventually this guy would give up. We're not causing him any problems, so we continued doing our thing. We started building a furnace base and we were just doing the final bit of preparation to get this hotel built. But not every story is perfect in Rust. In fact, very few are. There's one thing about grubs. They might only carry double barrels and water pipes when they're solo or when they're just a few of them online. But see, once their whole crew gets on, it's a different story. Oh. Ow. Oh, there he is. Once, twice. Twice. I see him, he's at the train tracks, mate. Yeah, I see one. I hit him once, I'm dead. Oh, I completely whiffed, I'm gonna die. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm dead. Yep, these guys returned, only this time they had more than water pipes. They were fully kitted out with AKs. I'll talk to you later. Uh, yeah, no worries, dude. Thanks for helping me this far anyway. Now, C&D Blood decided to take a break. With the constant door camping that these guys were doing, and now they've rocked up with the big guns, well, it just didn't seem like we were going to get anything done. But I stuck around for a little bit, and, well, these guys didn't go away. I'm getting raided to this stage, Javu. That sound right there is everybody's worst nightmare. That's the sound of explosive ammo. For those that don't know, this is the ammunition used to destroy stuff. Now, these guys have just destroyed the front door of the hotel. I'm not entirely sure if they're going to raid me completely. They might see that I've got garage doors and decide against it. Maybe they'll change their mind once they realize the cost. But... One of them is stood directly outside my garage door, essentially trapping me inside my own base here. And he's waiting out there patiently. So it's not looking good. Yo. Yeah. For comms, unless you want to concentrate. Yeah, he just wants me to uh, open the door. That's why he's waiting out there. Um, you should uh, negotiate with him to buy time. No, I'm not going to speak. Good idea, actually. He got through one door and then just like just stopped raining, and that was it. Well, your bo your bag's down and and ready, um, mm -hmm. but it is gonna be better I'll if you spawn in the other base because we're not gonna open yeah, any doors. Yeah, I'll try to take a train over or something. 
Yeah. How many? Two or three? One inside, one possibly outside. I have a shotgun trap aiming at one of them. I think his friend might be crafting more stuff. Yeah, probably. Yeah, this guy has like quite a lot. There's also a shotgun trap right there. I'll put I'll put a gun with ammo on uh, Omni's body. That's where your bag is. Okay. With meds Sounds as well. Good. Okay, I'm here. Back, back. Okay. I'm rushing over right now. Oh, they're gonna get they're gonna get in. Yeah, I reckon. Uh, just try it because I'm I'm gonna be right behind them in, in two seconds here. I have an idea though. They laddered up, right? Huh? Did they? Where did they ladder? I'm here. They're in. They're in. Yeah, they're going through the last door now, mate. I'm here. Oh, I'm right behind him. He doesn't see me though. Oh, I DP'd him spawn twice. In, spawn in. Spawn in. Spawn in. Spawn in. I am. I am. I am. I'm here. Okay, one's almost down. I'm dead. You can open that door, screw it. Once you've got the gun set from him. Yeah. You want me to open right now? Yeah, do it. Killed him, dead, killed him. Yeah. One more, one more, one more. Yeah, yeah. He's hit, he's one shot. Oh, I'm from behind, I'm dead. Oh yeah, no. there's more, there's more. Unfortunately, there was four of these guys and they just completely destroyed hours of work. That's the way the cookie crumbles. This is Rust, a game with the highest of highs and the lowest of lows. But do you think that we're gonna give up that easily? You're damn right we're not. These guys are about to inspire one of the best hotels that's ever been built on this game. Because after being raided by these guys and essentially losing everything, an idea popped in my head. All of the hotels I've built have been easy to raid. They're not the most sophisticated bases in the world. The problem is, I'm no base building expert. I need to find somebody that is capable of building something incredible. And, uh, well... It just so happens that that person has been standing right in front of me all along. Yes, I'm talking about my good mate, Blizzard ID. Blizzard happens to be one of the top base builders in the Rust community. He was the base builder for the EU Twitch Rivals event, which hosted four different teams from all around the world and featured all of the top Rust content creators. It's safe to say, Blizzard knows how to build a base. So I proposed an idea to Blizzard. We're gonna try and build a hotel, but we're gonna combine all of the building techniques that you would find in any sophisticated high-end meta base. He was completely up for the challenge, and so he jumped straight on a build server and got to work on some ideas that he'd been thinking of. Now the concept that he put forward was quite simple but awesome. He proposed that we build a hotel, but instead of having the staff quarters be at the bottom next to the hotel, like I usually do with my hotels, his idea was to build the staff quarters on top of the hotel instead, overseeing the hotel lobby and all of the guests down below. This means that we'll be able to design peak downs, which will allow us to oversee the entirety of the hotel from a bird's eye view. This is also a massive thing when it comes to defending the hotel from a raid. If anybody tries to raid us, we'll be able to shoot them from above from all angles. Unlike the last hotel that I just built, where I was essentially trapped inside my own base and I couldn't do anything. That's just one perk of building our base above the hotel. There'll be bunkers and a shooting floor and helicopter storage on the roof. We're also gonna multi-TC this base so that if the worst case scenario does happen and we do get raided, the raiders won't be able to grief the hotel and they won't be able to grief anybody's rooms. So anyway, enough talking. Blizzard jumped straight onto a build server and experimented with some ideas that he had. And in the end, he came up with this base design that you see on the screen right now. It looks pretty beefy. All we've got to do now is build it on the real server. So, without further ado, we're going for round two. 
Now the following day, Blizzard jumped on the server and started to stream. He got online about an hour before me and he decided to place down a base of his own. He wanted to live more in the center of the map so that he could get stuff done quicker. And when I logged in, I returned back to my humble beginnings over on this side of the map, back to the first base that I'd built. I hadn't been raided, so we're going to live out of this base just for a little while so we can get some resources. It shouldn't take too long because we've already researched everything we need to. So all we got to do is a bit of fun. Oh, and say hello to the next guest in today's video. We're gonna need a hotel cleaner, so I've hired my friend Jennifer to come along. Any extra set of hands that we can get, the better. I'm gonna go and pick her up on my train, and then she's gonna go and live near Blizzard and help him farm up stuff. Is that you? Yep. Hell yeah, I'm right here. Oh. Woo. All oh, right. I'm aboard. I'm hello. In. How hey. are you doing? Invite to the team. Welcome Great. to the crew. Thank you. This is a fast train. Oh my god! Hello! Hey! Oh there, that's, that's Omni! How'd you get a car? Because I'm a uh, mechanic. Very good. Alright, oh, we here. are here. Yes, we are. Lit. Follow me. No, you don't have to. You can live anywhere around here that you want. Of course. Because, uh, you know, I live... Yeah, keep in mind, I, I live really far from them. <laughs> Oh, yeah. you do? Yeah, I live all the way in M15 because I'm, I'm trying to live near where our base is going to be because I want to be near like the... Because our hotel is going to be near Outpost. It is, it's probably going to be better if... It is going to be better if you go and live near Blizzard. So you, you bring me all the way over here to tell me to go to Blizzard? <laughs> well, hey, Omni, can you, can you give her a ride? <laughs> give me where's your car at? <laughs> give, I need give, a ride. Can you, can you take her to Blizzard, bro? Uh, yeah, I live yeah. on M15. So we can... Yo, Jen, get in, get in. Okay, dude, don't take my car. Sorry, sorry. You're stealing everything from me. I'm not, I'm not. Yoink. It's a beautiful car. It really is. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Um, is there yeah, anything the same. specific we need for the hotel to be gathered? Gears. We need gears. Uh, uh and gears. Gears and, and, and... I already got any... my broom and stuff, you know, since I'm the cleaning lady. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now we're almost there. Full box of auto turrets now. The jigsaw puzzle is almost complete. But there's one more problem. This area of the map in the middle of nowhere, when we arrived here, it was quite peaceful. But because this server is a two week wipe cycle server, it means it lasts for two weeks. The environment changes a lot. After people get raided, new people move into the area, and the residents of any particular area on a map are constantly changing. And so to cut to the chase, this once peaceful area of the map is well, a little less peaceful. My, I might, I think I might be about to get raided by my neighbors, two of them. Why? I just might be. If you can get outside, my, if you can get to my base. They're both jumping around the base, scouting it out now. Now, there's a new group of guys that have appeared in this area since I left. Their base is pretty massive. I didn't think too much of it because, well, I hadn't seen these guys and I hadn't really heard shots or anything like that. So I just assumed they were a group of farmers that liked to build big bases. But, well, it seems like they've taken somewhat of an interest in my base, which is very concerning, especially considering all of the stuff that we've accumulated in here to build the hotel. Yeah, Omni. Omni. Yeah. Can you get over here? Uh, I can. Omni's the closest friend I have around here, so as a preemptive measure, I told him just to start making his way over here, just in case. I'm not taking any chances. Are they geared? Yeah. Alright, I'm coming back. I'm pretty far away, so. They, okay, they've ran away. They just scouted it out. They had a look around. They don't know I'm in here. They had a look around. Well, you could have made noise. That way, they definitely wouldn't raid. They're not going to online raid you. True, but. Or well, they might, you know, come to raid him and then while they're raiding him, I'll come and kill him from behind. Easy plan. Yeah. Okay, they're back. They're back, both of them. Okay. They're running they're running to my main base. Yeah. Looks like they're about to start rocketing. You, we can we I'm in my furnace base and they don't know that. So they're gonna start rocketing yeah. now. Yeah, there we go. There's the rocket. Oh. Okay, if any of you can get over here, that'd be more <laughs> much help right now. Wait, you're getting raided? Yeah. Yeah, he is. Oh. Do you have a bag? Do I have a bag over there or no? Oh, sorry. Killed one. Alright, I'm coming. I'm not. 
Come down. Okay. He's right there. He's in front of my base helping his mate up right now. Yeah. And one. I got up. One's running. Oh, I didn't die. Killed him. Nice. You lead everything? Yep. Now, because of the way in which I built my base, I don't think these guys expected my base to be so beefy inside. My front door was made out of wood, but on the inside, I had about five garage doors, and I don't think they expected that. Hence, they didn't bring too much explosive stuff. They brought a clip of explo ammo and about five or six rockets with them. Now, they used about three of those rockets before Omni and I started shooting at them, so we've managed to get two rockets from them, thank you very much, and 58 explo ammo. But the show's not over yet. I don't think these guys know that Omni is actually my friend. I think that they just assume that they got counter raided by a random guy. They're just assuming I'm a solo player because I've got key locks on my base. But what they don't realize is that I'm not just a solo player. I've got friends all around this map now. Did you find his body or nah? Yeah, I found it. Okay. His mate's over here. Probably baiting me. Yeah, baiting me, baiting me, baiting me. Oh. I shot him. He's just in that ridge, I can't see him. Climb the stoog, you'll see him. Get, get to cover, because I'm, I'm here, right next to you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm dead, I'm dead. Okay, just, uh... Oh, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. I'm coming back with rockets now, yeah, they're gonna start booming again. Bag him as well anyway, Omni. The rocketing again. I did, I did. But mine isn't an insta bagger for you, right, Omni? No, no, no. Send you a friend request, please. Right, they're through. Okay. We've got two more garage doors and they're in. And they're going straight for the first one. Do you have walls, Jordan? Uh, uh, no. No, but I'm going to open this door real quick. I want to see what's going on. Okay. Uh, there's one. He's like, uh, like northwest from your base. Okay. What's the building plan when you need Towards it? Me. I'm opening that door. I'm going to patch it up in a sec. I need building plan. Patched it. Patched it. Good job, man. Now, Omni managed to distract these guys at just the right time for me to be able to patch up the breach that they'd made. But... These guys are still not giving up. So this is the point where Blizzard starts to get close to my base. Omni bagged Blizzard in his base because Blizzard lives so far away that he wouldn't have been able to run all the way here. So Omni gave him a sleeping bag and Blizzard respawned in that base, geared himself up and got over here. And when Blizzard's around, you better watch your back. You sealed a lot, right? I've sealed, not, no, I've, it's back to metal now. So they have to get through sheet metal. Uh, sorry, yeah, metal wall. You can't like... Can't you can't get more, more doors. Oh, I'm dead. They might just have but you sealed a lot, right? I've sealed. Not, no, I've, it's back to metal now, so they have to get through sheet metal. Oh, and they might be going for it because one of the walls needs repairing. I've just noticed. Can you repair it, Phil, or no? I'm going to keep trying that, but they're shooting it continuously. Oh, oh, okay, okay. If they've already seen it, then. Yeah, I see him on the roof of your base. Or well, one of them. There's one at the bottom. Yeah. yeah. One at the bottom, like, facing your direction. 
Yeah, I'm yeah, just thinking I might be able to get the guy that's bringing over the boom if they stay, two of them are staying there, you that's know? true. Yeah, good point, Bliss. No. Give that a go, yeah. Give that a go. So that way we just have to fight, like, one or two guys rather than four. Blizzard came up with this idea. At this moment in time, these guys are not blowing up my base. They're just shooting the wall so that they can stop me from repairing it. And usually, whenever a group is doing this, they're doing it because they're waiting for their teammate to craft more boom. So Blizzard decided that he was going to go and wait at their base and wait for them to leave with the boom. And then as they leave, shoot them and take all the boom. Great idea, but just as he was approaching their base and scouting it out, we heard this noise. Yeah, they're oh. rocketing again. Yeah, they're rocketing again. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna come from behind then. Okay. Well, this is pretty open here. It's a bit awkward. 200 HP, but not fully. They won't be fully in. Not to get through yeah. one more go. Yeah, I just door. got behind. Is there still three then, right? Is there two or three? Who, me? Yeah, He's yeah, through the first one. He's at all my loot now. I'm just running away. Uh, well, not He's all of it. He's on top of the we we'll just wait for. Has he seen you or no? You me? Yeah, yeah. I think so. The first one is on my loot now. He's running away. He's uh, not on the fence. I killed one fully. On the roof. He doesn't have TC, right? He can't seal or anything. No, he can't. He can't okay. Him. Oh, I just seen him for a second. Killed another. Killed another. I think there's one left. Killed another, killed another, I think there's one left. One more? Yeah, yeah, Wait. one more. Okay. I'm pushing either way. He's back side of the base, river side of the base. Kill them, kill them, kill them, kill them. Hey, all nice, dead, nice, all dead. Nice, 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 nice. Alright, I'll, you loot, I'll cover. I, I'll, I'll yeah, seal, yeah. I'll seal. Can I give you the, his explosives? Yes, come on, bring it in my base, through the front door. I'm opening the doors to my drop box. Through the front door. Yeah, yeah. come in, come in, come in, come in. I'm not sure if Omni wants to come in, I can't. Let me just No, no, just let me out, let me out again, so I can okay. continue covering. Where this guy's going? Oh no, they just climbed up. They got to my TC as well. Oh my god. Oh they my god. They got to my TC. Oh yeah, his Balti's in here. Do you, does any of you have a ladder on you right now or no? Uh, no. Okay, uh, let me see. I don't have TC on that base. I can't do much. What, what explosive stuff did you pop away? 58, take that, and uh, two rockets. I got all that extra ammo and the rockets. And is that the extra rockets in my core? There should be then, if you had more before. Yeah, they got, look at this. All of this is, all of my coffins are gone. Which is the oh, only no. Oh, no. There yeah. was a ton of extra coffins in that other base, by the way, the base that I originally came from. Okay, uh, two more rockets here for you. Wait, no, no, I already have enough. I mean, I can take them, I guess. Yeah, take them. All right, then. We successfully defended the raid. They just thought I was a little solo player. Four of them living in a massive base. They thought, ha, this guy. I respect them for the online raid, but I don't respect them for raiding a solo player. Little did they know, I got some Chad friends this wipe. Anyway. We need to get the hell out of here because a group like this is definitely going to come back for vengeance and do an offline raid. There's no way I'll survive the night if I keep all the loot in this base. So it's the moment we've all been waiting for. Finally, it's time to get this hotel built. Now, Blizzard was content that we should build right next to the outpost. But after scouting around that area of the map, for me, it was not flat enough and there was already too many bases around there. 
So I went on my own scouting mission, looking for a place where we could build this hotel. It needs to be somewhere that's flat, somewhere that's close to lots of players. After mooching around a little bit, I really liked the look of this area. It's located right next to a fresh barn beach. It's also right next to a road, which gets a lot of traffic, players running up and down, paddle farmers, people of that nature. Just the type of people that would be looking for a hotel room. And we've also got some pretty decent monuments here, like junkyard, lighthouse. There's an entrance to the underground tunnels and a fishing village. This couldn't be a more perfect place to build a hotel. It took Blizzard a little convincing, but in the end, he agreed. This is going to be the spot to build our hotel. I set up a small 2x2 two two base. This is going to be the base where we deposit all of the farm and all of the resources that we've gathered over the last few days. Blizzard and Omni are going to make their way over here with all the loot they've gathered. And thankfully, we've got coffins so we can store all of that loot that we've gathered in a 2x2. Two two. Perfect. Please keep coffins in the game, face punch. Do you have storage in your base right now or no? Like Loads. enough for us? I have a lot of coffins. Okay. Switch to the right. Yeah, because I probably want to depot first and then... Wait, where's your base? The code is Al's code. Uh, it's over this way, oh. boys. Wait, is this the metal one? Yeah, I thought, yeah. I thought it was that one. I just wasn't sure. Yeah. Come inside. Welcome, welcome. See, I've already brought over like loads of stone. There's loads of wood here and stuff. Probably need metal frags more than anything at the moment. Okay, I'll go farm more stuff. Are you guys, are, are you building it now? Or are you doing another trip, Liz? No, I'm building it now. Oh, you are? Okay. Let's go, boys. Come on, Omni. Would you, 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 you say you you prefer if it was on the ground, right? Rather than in the water? Yeah, but, you know, a little bit can go on water if it needs to be. Prefer it on ground, personally. But it's going to yeah. be so big that it's still going to be visible from, like, that all around here. Okay. Now, Blizzard got started on building the hotel. This base is going to have three external furnace bases that are going to also have tool cupboards that are attached to the main base. This is called multi-TC stacking. What that means is, if we get raided and the raider destroys our tool cupboard in the hotel, they still won't be able to build because the three external tool cupboards that we have outside of the base will take over as privilege. They would have to destroy all four of our tool cupboards, which would just not be practical at all. It would cost way too much. Some building lingo for you there. Anyway, we're about to meet some of the locals in this area, and uh, they're quite nice. Oh, my friend. Hello. How are you? You have a microphone, sir. No? Okay. We're building a hotel. Maybe if you need a place to stay, you can live here once it's done. All right. Hold, hold on. Is that Jordan Run? Uh, maybe. How you doing? <laughs> no. No way. What are you saying, man? What's up, man? Bro, I've been watching your videos for like, what, like, two years now? Oh, thanks, mate. Do me a favor, bro. Don't don't tell anybody we're, we're over here. Yeah. Um, but... Yeah, no, 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 I'll be quiet. Once the hotel's done, we'll, we'll spare a room for you. We're building it right now. I th thank, thank you. I literally live right over there. So oh, you do? You can, uh, if you need anything, just let me know. All right. That's crazy. I heard, I heard your voice and it's like, I know this guy. There's no way I don't know this guy. Yeah, man. Are you from, uh, you sound northern. I'm, I'm from, I'm from Derbyshire, mate. Mate, I'm out there all the time. That's, I'm, yes, I'm, I'm out, I'm out in the E-Dale and all that. Um, oh, shit. that's literally like 20 minutes away from where I live. Yeah, I'm out there hiking all the time. Oh, that's my friend. All right, well, uh, uh, how do I say oh, your shit. name? Owen, Owen, is that your name, Owen? Oh. Oh, this this is my mate's account. I've just come here for the weekend. And I've gone on his <laughs> gone on his roast, and uh, and now you're here. So yeah, it, I think it's Owen. I'm not sure. Right, so well, are you recording then? Is that yeah, what's I'm record. Give your mate a shout out. You're on his you're on his PC. You're on his PC, bro. What's his name? Oh oh yeah yeah true true. Uh, shout out Jack. So I've heard uh, Jordan oh, farts and jars. Okay, shut up, Omni. Right. Oh, that's, um, that's not true. But yes. <laughs> All right, sweet. Well, uh, good luck with the yeah. video. Uh, yeah, I'll man. see you around. See you around, mate. Peace. All right, sweet. Wait, are, are you solo? Are you solo? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm solo. We've got one more spot in the team. There you go, man. Take it. Thank you so much. He just added him to the team. What? <laughs> yeah, why, <laughs> the why not? team?
magic like an ancient jungle law. There's a violence that can touch us so all. King Kong, King Kong can get the best of you. King Kong, King Kong can turn you red or blue. There's an irritating logic like an ancient jungle. I'm just letting you know, if you need help me in hotel, I can help you out. Um, well, we just need components, really. If you've got any gears, sheet metal or anything like that, we could use it. Okay, but... uh, I'll run back to my base. Yo, um, I ain't got much, but I've got ten gears and one sheet metal. Alright. Well, thank you, thank you. That's enough, to be fair. That We'll give you a room for free for that. Alright, yeah, yeah, sweet. Cheers, bro. Oh, hello, guys. Hello, Privyet. Oh, Privyet. I would like to give you free loot. Please, give me some answers, man. Okay. Don't kill me, don't kill me. <laughs> he tried to steal the heli. You really keep an eye out on that then. Uh, yeah. Now, after Blizzard built the structure of the hotel, it was time to get to work on the interior. The room number signs, all the decorations, the electricity. That was all my responsibility. Uh, can you come here, Jordan? Uh, grab this. Don't shoot the last fire yet. But be ready to shoot it at that TC. Blizzard is moving the tool cupboard upstairs. It's way more secure if the tool cupboard is hidden at the top of the base. Good, gone. Oh, I need to come up and get talk a bit, obviously, now. <laughs> yeah, you have to go on the outside layer to get up. Like, onto the shooting floor and then in. Oh, yeah, got it. And is that the case on every single side? It's just one. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's just mirrored. Oh, my God, this is cool, man. Yeah, it'll be fun. Yep. Once we have people in there, especially. Yep. I definitely think that it was a good idea building here. There should be a mixing table in the base. Alright guys, um, I've just done all the room numbers. I'll show you that right now. We have 12 rooms inside this hotel. As you can see right here, we have rooms 1 to 4 right there, up there. We have rooms 5 to 8 up there. We have rooms 9 to 12 up there. All of the rooms are going to have metal windows facing this. And in this core, we're going to have everything you'll need from workbenches to repair benches, everything. Every room will have a sheet metal door and a garage door and an extra garage door there. So the rooms in this hotel are going to be the most secure out of any hotel that I've ever built. Now then, I'm going to start decorating this and electrifying it all to make it all look really nice and Halloween themed. And then, of course, we need to make this place secure as well by adding all the auto turrets, which I'm going to do in just a moment. But things are making progress. Blizzard has built this, all this right that you see right here. And I'm going to do all the electrifying and stuff like that. But 
Blizzard has built an absolute beast here. Now, if you've never seen my hotel videos before, you might be wondering how it works. How do people buy a room? Well, it's quite simple. We have a vending machine at the bottom of the hotel that sells notes. Each note has a room number with a code. So all you've got to do is buy a note from the vending machine. It will give you a random note and thus a random room. And then you just look at the note, look at the room number, look at the room code, and that's it. It's as easy as that. Bro, this place is going to look awesome when it's finished. This core, like, all this lighting looks so cool. Yeah. Well, I'll get the, I'll do the auto turrets when it gets to morning, because that's kind of like, that should be a priority, really. How about you prioritize these nuts? Got them. Got who? You. Asked. That was not a good ass, was it? Bitch! <laughs> Hit that thing. <laughs> Be like that bitch. Before you go, Bliss, uh, yeah. test the hotel close button. They're about to press it twice. Yes. Oh, beautiful. And again to close. Oh, my God. That is awesome. Nice. All right, everybody. The hotel, after hours and hours and days of freaking grinding, we've got the hotel right here. Now, you might think from the outside that it looks like a clan base because, well, we've kind of built it like that. It's a Chad hotel, this. Nobody's going to try and raid this. It's awesome. So anyway, without further ado, let me give you a base tour of this. So we go through here, enter through these doors. These will all be open once the hotel is open. We go through this door and then we go through this door. Right, here you go. Here's the entrance. Now, we're going to add way more stuff to this over time. We're probably going to add elevators as well. But for now, I'm going to show you around the hotel because it is pretty much done. And we are pretty much ready to open the hotel and get hotel guests and stuff like that. So, first and foremost, we've got 12 rooms. And as you can see right here, we have room number five. I'll take you through that room, just whatever. This is just a random room. I'll show you what each room looks like. So, through here, you've got your own garage door. You've got two furnaces. You've got a coffin. You've got a bed. You've got all this storage, a ceiling light. You've even got this right here, these windows, which open out into the main area right there. All right, every room looks like that. We also have these garage doors. The guests will not have access to these, but we will in case we want to lock down the hotel. We'll have a button that we'll press and it will close all of these doors. Um, speaking of buttons, I want to show you something cool. I'm going to tell my friend Blizzard to press a switch to show you what we can do with this hotel. We've got a lot of switches in this hotel that control a lot of the things. As you can see right here, we've got peacekeeper turrets all around here. These turrets will only attack a player if that player is uh, attacks somebody. Basically, if that player is aggressive, the turret will attack them. But we've also got turrets set on attack mode in case we need to completely refresh the hotel and wipe it clean. If we need to cleanse the hotel, let's say, people are getting too hectic, there's a lot of things going on, then what we can do is we can enable our attack turrets and they're up here in these garage doors. Okay, Blizzard, um, open the attack, uh, the, the emergency turrets. Boom, there you go. There's a switch at the top of the base 
that opens these garage doors and they reveal our attack turrets. These turrets will attack anybody regardless of whether they're friendly or not. So if the hotel's getting too crazy, too hectic, we can press a button and we can have these um, turrets at the top here and they'll just destroy anything in the path. All right, you can close it now, Blizzard. All right, now there's another button we have and that closes and opens the hotel. So I'll show you that. All right, uh, open the hotel, Blizzard. All right, hotel's open for business. Woohoo! Boom. Hell yeah. We did it. We created a hotel. Shout out to right. Jen, Blizzard, uh, L, everyone that's helped me. Uh, Omni, of course, C&D Blood. We are open for business. I can connect those switches to my phone. So I can actually control those doors with my phone. Anyway, I'm not finished with the tour yet. I need to show you the top of the base because this, it, this might look like a hotel, but it's also a very strong base as well because on top of the hotel, we've got our main base. So let me take you there right now. To get to the main part of the hotel, we go through this ladder hatch right here. Up we go. All right, we've got traps leading all the way up here. Um, we're gonna go all the way to the top. All right, and we've got a shooting floor here with peak downs that look down into the compound. Through this door right here, I'll take you into the main core of our base. We have bunkers set up on all sides of this base so we can store our loot in bunkers where it's super secure. And uh, through here, we have our core, which is pretty cool. We have all the, this is one of our loot rooms. Our tool cupboard is nicely, neatly packed away in the back there. Where all the switches that I was just talking about are right here in the core of our base. So we've got our auto turret switch right there. That will open and close the auto turret's door. I'll press that just to show you right now. Activated. And then close like that. Easy. We've got a button for lockdown. That will lock down all of the uh, rooms in the hotel so that our guests can escape. If we've got a guest that's being really bad and trying to ruin the hotel, we can lock down all the doors so he won't be able to escape. And then we can evict him. Um, and then we can open the hotel back up. Down here, we've got the close hotel button, which I've shown you just then with Blizzard. That opens all the doors to the entrances of the hotel and closes them at the switch of a button. So as you can see, it's green right now because we've just opened the hotel for business. So there's that. We've also got peak downs that basically look down at the atrium of the hotel down there. So we can, again, if somebody's trying to raid us, we can use these peak downs, but it's going to be pretty hard for them to get into the atrium because there's six auto turrets down there. And so, yeah, good luck trying to get inside the atrium if you're trying to attack us. All right, there's your tour of the hotel. There's a lot more to it and you will see more and more as the day progresses and whatnot. At the top here, we have a shooting floor, like a, a proper roof and stuff. We've got a helicopter up here, uh, stored away in our helicopter garage right there. There it is. We've actually got three helicopters. I didn't realize we had so many, but there you go. Um, <laughs> And as you can see right here, we're right on a Freshborn beach. We've got a road here, so we're gonna, we've been seeing a lot of paddle farmers come through collecting scrap. We're in a perfect prime location for people that might need a place to stay. You've got everything you need in this hotel. Wait, have we got guests already? Yeah, yeah, well, you need to start setting up uh, prices for the... Okay, all right. For the, uh, for the keys. I'll and then also it. we need to... Uh... Uh, paint the signs that make it obvious that this is a hotel. Yes. Hello there, Miss. Welcome to the hotel. How are you doing? We're gonna we're gonna set up the, we're gonna set up the prices for the rooms right now. Are they speaking? Oh, I voice is in a barbecue. No you way. won't need yeah, yeah, to live any place else besides here, because we got all you need. We got repair bench tier one through three, a research bench, mixing table. <laughs> if you haven't noticed. Jennifer's our receptionist. <laughs> well, she's the receptionist slash cleaner. We did originally hire her to be the cleaner, but she's applied herself. She's shown some great potential. So we're giving her the role of receptionist as well. It's all here just for you. Window cleaner, I had her uh, voices turned off, so I'm sorry if I if I was speaking over you. I just realized. <laughs> <laughs> yes. M miss, miss, we have everything here for you. As, as window cleaner just said, I'm the manager, so I personally come down here myself to tell you this. Like, we're very personable. We, we, we love to have, you know, so if, we'd love to have you as a guest. We'd love that. Yes, we would love Thank you. to have you as a guest. 
We're setting up the, the, the payment thing right now. Okay, what, what should we offer? What should we offer rooms for? How much is it? Well, actually, I usually do this thing. Whenever I build hotels, the first guest gets a room for free. It's always what I do with these hotels. So, <gasps> yes, we would like to offer you a room for free. Do you accept? Can I have the best room? What do you have? You can choose whatever room you want. They're all the same. Yeah, and there's top number floor eight. rooms. There's number second eight. floor. Oh, okay. Okay. number eight. That's over here. Let's take a look. Where did you find this person? They were just outside the walls. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. Come up here. We'll take a look at you got your own light. You got some uh, plenty of box space, some spooky furnaces here, a barbecue, a bed. And if you want to look and see what everybody else is doing and be a creepy Tom guy, uh, you can look through your window. All Perfect right. for anybody. You could throw in the light and bear rug. Here, take Stark gets prison. You're stuck in here forever. <laughs> take this. <laughs> That's your no, that's your code. Keep it safe. He said he's not trapped. Is it trapped? No, it's that. It's no, not oh, trapped. It's not actually trapped. <laughs> this, this is a very expensive trap. <laughs> right. Let me sell up the prices. What What do you think about prices? Because because don't forget we can sell mm. we can sell the we don't we don't need to sell room for just one price. We can have it for several different options. You know. Yeah. I think like around about nine hundred sulfur, right? Uh, like three sulfur nodes. That seems pretty good, right? Yeah, but we also want, we also want um, uh, stone, right? And that's uh, yeah. So one one option is nine hundred. Right sulfur. now we want stone, yeah. One. Okay, so one option. So three k stone. And, and then one of the three, three k stone, yeah. All right. So one room filled. Eleven more to go. We need to find some hotel guests. But I want to make sure that we're giving a room to people that need it. So I went on a scouting mission looking for fresh barns. I went around the fresh barn area to spread the word that there's a new hotel in town. And they're more than welcome to stay there if they need a place to live. Hello, sir. Mate, naked guy. How you doing? What's up, man? Hey, listen, uh, do you have a base? Do you have a base? Nah, I literally just got on the server like two minutes ago. We built a hotel at Y22. Y22 just over there. If you want to come check it out, it's got really pretty cool rooms and stuff. I'll look at it. All right, man. Floppy fish. Go check it out. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I will. Hey, mate. Hi, man. Hey, how you doing? I just want to let Hi, you man. guys know we built a hotel uh, at Y22. So if you guys need a place to live, there's a hotel over there. Y22. Huh? Yeah, we built a we built a big hotel. Yes, yes. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. I'm taking you to the hotel. Just put your weapon away once you get inside, because it, it the auto turrets will attack you. You didn't speak. Oh, wait. <laughs> no, we got no, it. I don't have. Uh, there you go, boys. Good job. Let's go. Let's go. Keep going. Come on, boys. Come on. I'm bringing some guys to the hotel. I'm Multiple. luring them. Yeah, two of them. Wait, did you say luring? Well, actually, you can get, have them each, like, they can be in one room, right? Oh, my God. Yeah. I guess there's nothing stopping them. Yeah. This is the hotel, lads. You're about to see the great hotel. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. All right, come on. Don't worry. No one's going to attack you. So, this is the hotel. Beautiful. Oh, yes. my God, man. You can buy a room from, from this yeah. vending machine right here. Now, follow me, boys. Follow me up here. Here we go. So, this is what you get inside of a room. This is your this is your preview. All right, now, leave, boys. Leave. Move back. Move back. This is the cost of one room. 3,000 stone. Okay. 3,000 stone. Okay. Oh, thank you. Maybe we'll see you soon. Okay. Wait, one second. I have something for you guys. I have something. Take this. For you. And the hatchet, yes. yes. All right, good luck. Thank you, thank you. See you soon. See you soon, my friend. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye. Now, after scouting three potential hotel guests, I headed straight back out on the road to look for more. Hello there, good sir. Naked man. How are you doing today? Do you have a microphone? Okay, listen, mate. If you need a pl Oh, wow, thank you. If you need a place to stay, 
We've built a hotel over there at Y22. Okay? So if you want to, if you need a place to live, you need a room, go check it out. Also, you, well, thanks for all the wood. Appreciate it. I'm going to drop some stuff for you here. Dude, what the hell? You can have a room for free. You can have a room for free if you want. What the hell? Okay, uh, he's just given me... Um, Okay, th this guy that I just told you about has just given me... Uh, at the moment, I'm on 50,000. 50,000 wood. Make that. What? Yeah, he's dropping it all off the decayed base. Make that. I said I'd give him a free for a room for this. Holy. Well, yeah. Okay, make that 70,000 70, wood I've got. Right, I'm going to go put this in my base. If you want... A f oh, my God. Okay, Blizzard. Wait, what did you say? I have 80,000 wood in my inventory. I've got to go. I'll, 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 I'll see you at the hotel, mate. Come and, come and, come and say hello. Hello. Are you the guy that gave me all the wood? Yes, you are. And you're back with more Holy loot. Welcome to our hotel, yeah, mate. Man, we're welcome. We're, yes. Look at this. Grab all that. Grab all that window cleaner. This is my cleaner. Hello, sir. Bad boy. We're gonna give you a free room for all this, mate. Here you go, Where good are you sir. Those? For you. Yeah, this is it. What? I'm gl glad you like it, bro. Glad you like it. I have your hatchet. Do you remember that one? Hello. Wait, there's a... No, no, no. I'm from the hotel, man. Look we, here. We, we, we have a hotel right here, boys. Hey, hey, hey. Look, come come here. Come here, boys. Check this out. Follow me. I just found this house over here. The... Come in. It's a trap, this is, right? It's not a trap. I, I, honestly, it's not. Honestly, I'm, I'm not joking. It's a hotel. 100%. It's a trap. It's not a trap. I'm stuck in here. Yeah, I'll, she's... Help. <laughs> come in, come in. Sir. Sir. Come in, come in. It's not a trap, honestly. Honestly. It's not. It's a hotel. They're paying me to lure you in with scraps of food. Look, it's a very safe environment in here. It's a hotel. Oh. <laughs> He's like, yeah, you see? Oh. Okay, yeah. Hey, look, if any of you want a room, you can buy it from here. So, wait, how does this even work? No, don't go inside, but this is a preview. This is a preview of the room. For how long will you have this hotel? Till the rest of the, like, the wife. Do you have any plans like, till, for... till next Thursday. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. And okay, so, okay, yeah. Okay. I found the base beside, but why not here? Yeah, why not live here? As long as you don't you steal, so much right? more safe here. We're not. No, we're not going to steal. And, um, you know, if you have any problems with my with my uh, recep say? receptionist, then may feel free to make a complaint. Who, who is the receptionist? That one just speaking there. The hot babe there. The one who there. screams. I the see. one that screams, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but you are the, the owner? I'm the owner, yes, yes. No, that, that would okay, be okay, me. Okay, okay, so, so if... Here. He's he's just the he, he goes scouting for people. He's like the intern. <laughs> okay, dude. Okay, so wait. I'm confused. He's... Don't no. worry. He, he'll he'll sort you guys out. He'll sort hey, you guys hey, out. Hey, he's 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 good. Listen. He's good. The guy talking in the Rock. sky that you can't see is in fact um my employee, yeah. and for some it's reason me, he thinks he owns the Jesus. place. No, but I, I'm God, me? aka the I'll owner. I'll give you a hundred scrap. Right, but Friskin, you've got my oh. word. We'll, we, if you buy a room, we will never go in your room or anything like that. You know, it's yours for the rest of the wipe. I will, oh, yeah. in case you need some cleaning. Yes. Okay. Let's. Get, shall we go and farm some stuff? Confirm. So we need hundred crude oil then. Well, yeah, either that or three thousand stone. Yeah, or or, or nine hundred sulfur. It's up to you. Yeah, per, per person, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, per person. All right, boys. Well, you, you can share a room together if you want to. There's a lot of storage in one room. Yeah. But yeah, it's per room. Uh, uh, sure. All right, everyone. The hotel is up and running and operational. We've managed to get some freshborn guests in here, and we're also gaining a little bit of a reputation on the server. People are starting to hear about us. People are starting to come and check it out and see what it's all about. The word is starting to spread. And it's at this point in the video that I was reminded of someone. Someone that I'd rather forget. All right, I am here. So, how you doing? Oh my god, it's you. Well, look what we've got here. It's Rex, the guy that raided the first hotel that we tried to build earlier on in the video. This guy, <laughs> turns out he likes the look of this hotel we've built, 
and he came to inquire about maybe living here himself. Well, he clearly doesn't know who owns this hotel, does he? Oh, oh, it's you. Yes, you raided my first hotel. Oh, oh yo. No. <laughs> Wait, no. What? This is the guy that raided Wait, my freaking... Wow. This is the guy that raided my first hotel. What have you got to say for yourself? I didn't know you were making it. I, bro, I was talking to you. You weren't talking. I thought you were f***ing juiced, bro. The amount... You're making a furnace base. With the the amount of stress hey, hey, you have did caused. Did you hide the rest of your loot? No, did, we didn't. We were we kind of poor because we were we were building a hotel, bro. Everything we had was in there. Man, I thought you were juiced on sulfur, bro. I because I, I saw you were making a furnace base. Yep. You know, I had. To... Is he inside the hotel? Is he inside <laughs> the hotel? <laughs> yeah, he, he is. Yeah, he's down at the bottom. <laughs> Oi, listen, yo, Rex. Yo, yo. Well, we've got to do it. We've got to do it. Now, although Blizzard and I are joking around a little bit here, this guy is like one of the worst type of Rust players. After we kill him right here, he tries his best to come back with the little grubby guns that he's got stored away at his base like he did at my first hotel. Fortunately, this time round, it doesn't quite work out because we've got a beastie hotel. <laughs> now, with the hotel doing well, it's up and running, it's secure. Our receptionist Jennifer's doing a fantastic job bringing in new hotel guests. Blizzard and I decided that we were going to set our goals on trying to find Rex. We've accumulated quite a bit of sulfur and rockets from all the farming we've done to get this hotel built. We're ready to be the ones on the offensive. Now, we have a rough idea of where Rex lives, because if you remember, C&D Blood and I looked around a bit to see if we could find out where he lived. One of the bases that we scouted out was this one right here. We crouched up to it and had a little look around, and we felt like this could have been the base he lives in. So, there's a chance that maybe Rex lived in a separate base to the guys that he came to my base with that raided me. Potentially some kind of alliance or anything like that. So we decided to head on over to this base to see if it had improved since the last time we saw it. And if it has, then there's a good chance that Rex probably lives there. I'm gonna go scout it out. Might just meet you there, actually. Oh, unless you can give me a ride, uh, Omni. Please. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna get in the back, actually. Yeah, hell yeah. My little, my taxi service here. My chauffeur. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me back in. Let me back in. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. This is where I think he lives because... When we were being door camped by him, he kept running from this base, like this direction. We didn't see him exactly enter though, but there is a car in there and I know how much you like cars. So even if Rex doesn't live here, you've got a car, mate. How do you feel about that? True. Yeah. <clears throat> but it's, it's the same car as what I have. It's actually sh <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> now, this base has been upgraded since I last saw it. So I sent the word out to Blizzard, who was back at base with all the rockets, and gave him the thumbs up to fly over here and blow this base to smithereens. Let's find out if this is Rex's base. Yeah. Right. I don't think it's a bunker either, yeah. I kind of want to see what's down here first. Yeah, I know. I feel. If it's not I, him, I think we just seal it. I think up, again. Yeah. You know what like, I mean? Like, yeah, just loot. take the explosives. Yeah. Just take the explosive stuff and leave the rest. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Now, after entering the base, we realized that Rex didn't live here. It was just two duo players, and they were somewhat role players as well because they had a car. So Blizzard and I agreed, if Rex doesn't live in this base, we're not taking any of the loot, we're patching the base up for them. We're going to put a door and a lock on the base, and then we're going to put a note on one of the bodies with the code, and we're going to make sure these guys get their base back. So that's exactly what we did. Unfortunately, no sign of Rex. But shout out to these guys. 
Roll players for the win. Now, unfortunately, we couldn't find Rex's base. I have no idea where this guy's hiding. His base was definitely well hidden. But we do have some enemies where we know exactly where they live. The guys that tried to raid me over in my humble beginnings over on the other side of the map, well, we know exactly where they live. And we've got some MLRS rockets that we'll be happy to blast right at their base. Come on, boys. Oh, you're flying? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Blizzard and Jennifer flew over to the other side of the map where the enemy base is located, whilst Omni and I flew over to the abandoned military airfield. This airfield has one of the MLRS rocket systems. Provided you've got MLRS rockets, all you gotta do is go over there and you can fire rockets at any base you want on the map. Once you're inside this vehicle, it's important to be as accurate as you possibly can. It's very easy for these missiles to miss the base you're trying to target. So precision is key with this. Best as you can, because sometimes it'll go like a large distance away because of hills and stuff. You know what I mean? Like once you've done a tiny amount. That's good. Yeah, yeah, they're there. They're, they're. That's, perfect. That's perfect. And then there's a fire button there. Yeah. yeah. Okay, you ready, boys? Yeah, and then let me, uh, yeah. Oh, mate, that is so cool. After firing the rockets at the base, we're going to switch over to Blizzard's point of view. He was waiting over at the enemy base for the strike to arrive with Jen. No, no, no. I'll get in the I'll drive just because you can shoot. Now, by this point in the wipe, these guys had probably left the server by now, it's safe to say. But it still felt good to blast their base with missiles. We were able to get inside their base and take all of their loot. Their base was very juicy, to be fair. And with that, we headed back to the hotel. Over the next couple of days, the hotel started to get more and more guests, and we actually sold out our rooms pretty quickly. Owen came online, and I stuck to my promise and gave him a free room for the help that he provided us with, giving us gears. There was also a few hotel guests that I met that bought a room whilst we were all offline, which was always nice to see. So they had no idea that I was a YouTuber or that a YouTuber owned this hotel or anything of that nature. They just randomly stumbled upon the hotel and decided to buy a room. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. My name is Salute. Oh, Salute. Hi. Howdy. You live in the hotel? live in the hotel. Yeah, sure I do. Hell yeah. Can hello. you say hello? You sound I'm very familiar. Hello. Mic test one, two. Voice testing. One, two. Hmm. Voice testing. Wait a minute. Now, wait a minute now. You, are you a YouTuber? Um. You do like the, you do the, wait, do you do the island videos like helping solos and stuff out? Interesting. You have to, you have to be him, bro. There's no There's, way you're I, not. You could be honest with me, man. Um. Okay, I'll be 100% honest. Yes, Are that, you? That is me. Yes. I knew it. Your voice. I watch your videos all the time. Thanks, bro. Much, much appreciate. So when did, when did you get a room in here? Was anybody online when you bought a room? I just come. I got it yesterday. Oh, yeah, nice. Uh, there's a bunch of people online. Yeah, we built this. We built this whole thing. And uh, yeah, it's good to have you as a guest, man. Is it going to be a, is it going to be a video? Oh, hell yeah. And it's uh, it's been quite the journey trying to get this hotel down. We spent the past week. We got raided twice. <laughs> and there was a couple of hotel guests that ended up moving out of the hotel. And they ended up progressing quite a bit. In fact, they came back to the hotel and we sold them a helicopter. Here you go, man. Thank you. Enjoy. You get. Thank you get. You. Is there any donation? Two hundred low grade. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. No worries. We'll oh, Sheffer. Hello. Oh, wait. 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 Here for you. Gift. Oh, thank you. Really? Would it be on sale or something? Yeah. Oh, and due to the high demand of rooms, Jen actually made some VIP rooms on the outside of the hotel. These were absolutely awesome. We gave our hotel guests the option to upgrade their room for the cost of 10,000 stone. For that, you basically get your own little house. Attached to the hotel, the upkeep completely covered by our tool cupboards. Everything was just perfect. Exactly how I planned and how I wanted this hotel to be. Now, there's one more thing that we're going to do before the end of today's video. As the wipe progressed and we started to get towards the end of the wipe, we decided to do an online raid with all of the guests. 
We found a base that was decently sized, and we made sure that they were all online. We even told them that we were planning to do an online raid, and they were well up for it. A fair battle to finish off the wipe. Hello. We're friendly, don't worry. We, we own a hotel at Y22. We don't have a lot of time to talk because we're going to go do a raid. But if you want to go minute. visit the hotel, Wait a feel free. Oh, what, what, yeah. What yes. Quite a fan, but... Uh, yes. Inspired me to open. Oh, mate, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Go to the hotel at Y22. I'll meet you there, all right? If you, if you, if you want to go there. Okay, everyone ready? Ready. Okay. All right. You know, there's another rocket. Rocket that. One more. Okay, who has the HVs? I do. Kai has the HVs. Wait for him to take out turret. I don't even see him. Oh, they hit the furnace. Oh. The furnace. <laughs> yeah. As long as we have one person holding that with a launch rate, they can't do much right now. Just wait for me to re-gear. Killed one. Perfect. He was M2. Are you on the roof right now, Omni? Yeah, I am. Yeah, I'm in on the I'm holding the ladder. I got two M2s on me right now. From got this. a guy still. I think there. it's. I think it's this down door right here, Blizz. Uh, yeah, I would assume so. But uh, where should I shoot? Uh, from? Are they okay? They should, I killed one right. upstairs. We need to break a bed upstairs that I could see. Oh, watch out! Kill them, kill them, kill them. Okay, one person rocket, one person rocket, one watch rocket out. in there. People, people nice. coming to counter, people coming to counter. Oh, it's armored, it's armored. Wait, people we need come, another rocket. Yeah, people come I'll rocket. Yeah. Okay, come in, come in. I hit him with an HE. Can we get another HG. rocket on there? Okay. Move! There's like uh, at least two guys south. There's only one entry, Go hold so the I'll door. Hold the door. Uh, hold. How many are in the call with me right now from in the chat? No Is it just one. me? Uh, it's no one. It's just you. It's just me and... I think... It's just I think me and I've the hotel like, guest. Hold with, literally just hold it with a launcher. If they peek at all, just launch them. I'm not going to be able to see them with the launcher. There's no light. I'm going to have to use my AK. Well, you can hear them open it, no? Yeah, that kid right there. I'm, 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 I'm looking at the peak down bit, the, the drop down bit. Okay, okay, you know? okay. Yeah, just don't go down there because there's a sh shotgun won't. trap there. Did we deal with the counters or not? I'm coming in. Uh, Seems like they're kind of dealt with. Coming in. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm no. dead. I'm dead to counter. Yeah, he, he's left side. One just, second. Just make sure you're covering that one, that one thing. Just you're, that's all you need to do right now. We need you to cover that. Oh, it is. Okay. Need I need somebody to do it. Hey, Vanessa, you stand up that, here maybe. so we, we've got room down there. Somebody needs to peek in there. I feel like I got it open. Did you die? Is the shotgun trap broken? No, yet? no. Yes, it's broken, of course. Okay. Killed him. Nice. All dead in here. We're in core. TC's broke as well. We can place door down. Okay, wait, wait. Give me a Go, go, go. I'm placing the TC. Now, after we successfully completed the online raid, the people we raided were really chill. So we decided to let them keep the base and all their loot. Hey, thanks for the online. Wait, chill, chill, do, chill. do you wanna do you wanna stay here and we can after we take our stuff, you can have the base back? Uh, um, sure, I guess. We just wanted to use our explosives before the end of the wipe. So an online raid seemed the most fun way of doing that. Now then, we headed back to base. And we've pretty much done everything with this hotel except one thing, and that's take Heli. So, why not? Kinda, okay, that's fine, I guess. <laughs> Who shot the rocket? <laughs> Wait, that was an actual rocket. Who would fire an actual rocket? Come on, you know. And on that note, that's going to conclude the end of today's video. 
Thank you so much if you've got this far. This is the longest video that I've ever made. So if you have made it to this point, thank you. Every time I meet you guys in the game, you're always just really nice and just chill. And uh, I can't thank you guys enough for helping me get as far as I've got on YouTube so far. Uh, we're almost at 700,000 subscribers, which is absolutely massive. I honestly still can't believe I've got this far, to be honest. Just a guy that sits in his room playing Rust and I've managed to 700,000 people is freaking... It's hard to even fathom that number of people. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, drop the video a like if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe, of course, if you're new to the channel. And welcome if you are new. This video might have looked fun, but it was a pain, okay? That first time around when, my, when that hotel got raided, I was crying inside, literally. But anyway, last note before I do leave you guys. Please check out all of the people that were featured in today's video. Blizzard ID, of course, for building the hotel. I mean, the guy is an incredible base builder, and he's so underrated in the Rust community, in my opinion. And so, uh, you know, it'd mean a lot to me if you could just go in his stream from time to time and just say hello, say that you're from Jordan's video, and, uh, you know, it'll mean a lot to him. Everyone else as well, LTK, my crazy Australian friend, Jennifer, the one that's super loud, and to be honest, she should have got fired from the hotel. She almost scared away several potential customers customers shouting that it's a trap and everything but yes <laughs> go check her out as well on twitch uh, omni of course he was a big part of this video he helped me out a lot behind the scenes with all the farming and everything like that cnd blood didn't do an awful lot but go and check him out anyway <laughs> hey cnd if you if you're listening have a great week a great month a great christmas a great new year and i'll see you in the next video take it easy boys peace Please just talk to me if things ain't fine Look away, you just look away